Hi everybody, I am so excited about this video. So a couple of months ago, uh, someone had posted in the Americans in Norway Facebook group, which I had joined uh, before my trip to Oslo, asking where they can get chocolate chips in Norway. And I was like, surely Doc Dr. Utker's chocolate chips that we have in Finland are available in Norway too. So I started browsing the Dr. Utker Norwegian website and I saw this pizza and I was screaming. It was like one or two in the morning and I was screaming because I love broccoli pizza, but it's not a thing in Finland at all. I've yet to find a single pizzeria here that offers broccoli as a topping. And here's Norway over there just chilling out with a Dr. Utger frozen pizza that has broccoli on it. So I messaged, <laughs> I messaged the Dr. Utger Finnish Facebook page and I asked, when can we have these pizzas in Finland? And she was, or the nice lady was like, I don't know, I'll get back to you. And about three weeks later, she messaged me saying, congratulations, these are coming in August. So last week was August. I actually got an email from K Supermarket saying that these are in stock. They weren't, but today, a week later, they were. So these pizzas boast that they are made with 40% vegetables in the crust. So the crust on this one is made with spinach and on this one is made with beetroot. So they try to offer themselves up to be a healthier alternative. This beetroot pizza has toppings of zucchini, smoked ham, cheese, and red onion. And the spinach pizza that I am most excited about has broccoli, mozzarella, and mushrooms. So this is a vegetarian pizza, to my knowledge. Um, I took a picture of the nutritional facts about both of these because the font is too small for me to read. Uh, so I'm gonna read from my phone. The beetroot pizza has uh, the ingredients of wheat, flour, 20% uh, beetroot, 15% from crash, 9.1% cheese, uh, which is mozzarella and edam, 9.1% uh, grilled zucchini or courgette, 6.1% bell peppers, 6.1% smoked ham, which is pork, salt, spice extract, stabilizer, sodium nitrate, um, and smoke, rapeseed oil, 3% onion, baker's yeast, modified starch, sugar, salt, parsley, garlic, spices for allergies, including cereals containing gluten. See ingredients in bold. Okay. So that is... Oh, now I found the nutritional information. So as in, far as the ingredients are concerned for this beetroot one, it seems pretty straightforward. So for one frozen pizza, there's 734 calories. Uh, oh, that's fat, yeah. 34 grams of fat and 15 grams of that is saturated. Are these carbohydrates, I suppose, here? I'm sorry, the light kind of reflected off the picture. 78 grams of carbs, which 15 grams of that is sugar. Protein is 26 grams, which is pretty good, and 2.8 grams of salt, which seems like quite a lot of salt. Uh, sorry for not having that better. So that was for the beetroot pizza. And for the spinach pizza, I took another picture, and that has the ingredients of wheat, mozzarella, spinach, 12%, 12% tomato puree, 8.6% or 8 .6 broccoli, 8.6% mushrooms, 5% tomato concentrate, rapeseed oil, baker's yeast, modified starch, sugar, salt, garlic, basil, virgin or extra virgin olive oil, oregano, pepper, and that's it. So as far as the ingredients go, these things seem pretty straightforward. There's nothing crazy or disgusting or like any kind of strange preservatives or fake ingredients. These seem really straightforward as far as frozen pizza go. And as far as the nutritional information for this one, I took a really bad picture and need to do that again. Hashtag blind life. Hang on. Uh, there. So, the nutritional information for the spinach bottom pizza that I'm most excited about. It has 696 calories, 28 grams in fat, 11 of those saturated, 74 carbs, 
10 grams of sugar, 32 grams of protein, and 3.2 grams of salt. So this is 53% of my daily sodium intake in this pizza. So that's kind of a lot. But anyway, I'm gonna make these both now. I'm gonna put them in the oven. These both go in the oven uh, for 14 minutes at 220 degrees Celsius. I have no idea what that is Fahrenheit. Get with the rest of the world, America. And after that, I'm gonna taste test them both and we're gonna see if this pizza is everything I've been wanting and more. I'll see you guys after these have cooked. Okay, so these are out of the oven and first impressions, this one smells super mushroomy, and this one just smells a bit odd, to be honest. But this one got really brown. This was also on top of the other one, so that might be why. But I've already cut these, so I'm just gonna dive in. These are probably still really hot, so I'm probably gonna burn myself. Um, also, first impression, these have quite a lot of toppings, I feel like, so that's good, but let's try it. Mm. So this is the beetroot bottom crust and mm. I like it I was actually kind of skeptical about the egg or zucchini or courgette or whatever I'm supposed to call it but mm. it works that's definitely good now I'm gonna try the thing I've been waiting for all summer and the whole reason why I was so pumped about these pizzas spinach bottom broccoli pizza not enough broccoli for my liking but let's hope it tastes good mm. see I love vegetables and I love spinach and broccoli especially. Spinach and broccoli, probably two of my favorite vegetables. So for me, this is super good. Mm. Yeah, these are called Yes, It's Pizza. And uh, yeah, it's pizza, all right. This is awesome. I can't stop eating. Mm. Yeah, so these are both really good. This one, in my opinion, is better, but this isn't bad. They're both good. This one's just better. Um, I checked my receipt. These each cost three euros and 88 cents, so a bit more expensive than the regular Dr. Oetker pizzas that I normally buy. I normally buy the Ristorante ones. I know they have like the more premium guys, but I don't remember what those actually cost. I've only ever had the tech. So definitely check these out if you see them in your local K market. I got these from City Market, um, and the email I had got was from Gold Walker. So I assume that you can get these in K Supermarket and K City Market, and I'm sure you can probably also get them in, you know, S stores too, or Hall Holly, or wherever you buy your processed frozen foods from. Uh, and if you're not in Finland, definitely reach out to your local uh, Dr. Utker affiliate and see if they will start carrying these. Um, I'm afraid to get too emotionally involved because the last seasonal Dr. Utker pizza that I was really into was about a year ago, I think. It was called the Spicy Vegetarian Treat or something, which I love me some spicy vegetarian treats, if you know what I mean. But that one uh, had a uh, wheat or soy, was it wheat based or soy -based, based steak on it? And it wasn't at all spicy. It had a little bit of a kick, but not like anything worth calling spicy in my opinion, but it was still delicious. It was my favorite frozen pizza of all time. And they just took it out of stores without even saying anything about it. So I was like really upset, but that's okay. Cause I've got these now. And hopefully these stick around a bit longer. I'm actually gonna stockpile a bit on this one so that way when they do cancel it, I have them. Anyway, 
Thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of a video, it's kind of going back to my roots a bit with this channel since I used to basically just only do food in the beginning. But if you like this video, let me know. If you have other ideas for videos, drop them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and give this a thumbs up if you like to watch a blind girl eat pizza. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.